My interpretation is that when I did expose to all these lawyers how much conflicts of interest they were into instead of recusing themselves, they stayed in and opted for the solution where they just told me. Which now you've seen the letter, that tactic. 60,000 60, euro breach per text message. Well, per, it's in a LinkedIn, yes. a LinkedIn conversation. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Which, which is a total of 300,000 euros, which David specifies later. It's not specified there, but yeah. uh, I don't, even 60,000 I don't have. So. Yeah, okay. Right. So this is this is the strategy. Right. Not this, was any of that impartial uh, company receive, attorney work. I receive a letter threatening me over NDA breaches. Over NDA breaches up to 60k euro per breaches with an offer I should accept. Yeah. And so this is sometime in April, but like it was the date wasn't on there, but I can get you the date, whatever. It's okay. It's sometimes in April. Yeah. Because he mentions, obviously, they, he references the, my email being sometimes deactivated April, yeah. April 1st. So then, uh, um, so I reject that offer, obviously. Uh, yeah. Explain that the, uh, the, I didn't solicit Elise to make any competing company. I or, reject that offer because their threat has no base to me. Yeah, or clearly, or clearly, but the, the company attorney doesn't also doesn't have it. Like he specified himself that the company is not a party to the shareholders agreement. Yeah. Okay. Right? So, so I reject that offer because the threat, because their threats have no legal basis to me. Yeah. So then, then, uh, then, then, uh, um, um, then there's all this chaos around the emails. Then, uh, and then uh, like I said, I don't want to, I don't want to negotiate anymore if my privacy is being invaded. I obtain, well, you, well, they, wait a second, their offer, the clean break you signed on May 12th, mm -hmm. was this? No, 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 it's like based on that, that, that becomes the basis of deal two. Yeah, uh, deal two is basically the clean break. It becomes the clean break, okay. because the, the, like I, the, it's not called the clean break, it's called the clean break later when it gets drafted formally. Okay. And right now that, that offer mm. is just called deal two. Okay. That offer is called deal two. I call it deal two later. Okay. So then there's, because then I, then, uh, uh, then either I don't want to negotiate anymore. I've also gone, I've also already now gone to police in person to the police station. Um, uh, and I've emailed, I've emailed the, uh, the, the, um, the National Bureau of Police Investigations about the blackmail. But I say, uh, or maybe it's a bit later when it seems like there could be a deal. I, I message because now, because um, now I've, I've had a bit of a time to recover and think about things. And now I'm convinced that David's a money launderer and that, that, and all of the, obviously the blackmail is to cover up money laundering. When the, when the blackmail happened first, I was kind of really overwhelmed and, and tired. I kind of forgot about the, the money laundering, but the more, th and then, so all of this manipulation and reneging and so on and finding dirt on me and everything. So this is clearly criminal behavior. So this, this is behavior I've never seen from David before, but it's clearly a criminal habit, right? Get well, dirt, threaten well, me. One second, because yeah. the, the, this is important. Yeah. You shuffle a lot of things around. Yes. So that's going to be complicated. On April 1st, they shut down your email. Yeah. Eva restarts negotiation and they make an offer to me called deal, uh, uh, that I will call deal two. That I call deal two, yeah. That I call deal two. I call deal two. This is, this deal two is on the basis of this threat. Yes. Okay, so this threat. You should well, it's, it's on the, ba it's what they offer at the end. This like, is what they offer at the end. Well, it's the offer at the end in the, in the table. Mm -hmm. So those are like the first drafting of what becomes called deal two. Okay. Yeah. Right. And then a bunch of things get added. Like I don't, I reject the selling my shares. Mm -hmm. So the million euros for my shares goes mm -hmm. away. Uh, but then it, I get this payment for seven months of salary. Mm -hmm. uh, and then there's obviously like the dropping of the claims. So I reject that offer because their threats have no legal basis. Negotiation goes all the way to May 12th or when we sign a final clean break. Yes. Is it correct? Yes. Perfect. So then, uh, but in between, I go to police. I, uh, in between, 
I went to the police. Yes. And that, what did you do at the police? Well, I explained this blackmail. And I explained them this blackmail. So basically, in between signing this agreement, you're already starting legal actions. Yeah. Okay. And then for for because for now for like when this started, uh, I thought uh, maybe David was like overwhelmed. Yeah. Right. I thought I thought maybe David was acting out of like stress. Like it was a highly stressful situation. Okay. David got involved. So I, what, yeah. let, let me. I receive a letter threatening me over NDA breaches up to sixty k euro per breaches with an offer I should accept. I reject that offer because their threats have no legal basis to be. Yeah. Negotiation goes all the way to May 12th when we sign a final clean break. But in between, I've already went, I've already gone to the police. Yeah. I explained them this blackmail issue. Yeah, and then I go to Tampere police station. I, I have the, the evidence in my hand. I give it to them. Like they have it in their hand. They take my ID and whatever. Uh, and then I explain, like they're trying to say, they're trying to uh, uh, see if it's a crime or not. And eventually, like, so they, like a bunch of the story, like they keep on interrupting me to say it's not a crime when I'm, do, when I'm explaining the context, which is really annoying. So if police officers read this, like listen to somebody's story before, don't just interrupt them to say like... He's interrupting me, say it's not a crime. Yeah, okay. building up to the, com like for instance, I get fired. Yeah, well, that's not a crime. I'm like, yeah, I'm not saying it's a crime. But that's part of the context of what, the blackmail, right? Okay, but the blackmail, they say it's another crime? No, no, no. Then eventually they, they agree that the blackmail is a crime. Eventually I say, well, look, if you, you're, let's say you're, there was two police officers. I say, well, let's imagine you're her subordinate. And then you go dig, you want her job. And you mm -hmm. dig through uh, years yeah, okay. of paperwork. So I explain everything to them. They yeah. will see if it's a crime or not. Yes. Okay. And so then, then I say, so I, so eventually like, cause all this police don't necessarily understand like normal, like the low level police officers don't understand sure. this kind of stuff. But eventually I'm like, look, if you, let's say you're her subordinate cause there's a man and a woman uh, and you want her job, right? And you go through years of paperwork uh, and you find some, uh, some mistake or what you say is a mistake anyways. And then you go to her and you accuse her of not even being a legitimate p police officer. And unless you, she resigns, right? Uh, you will, these serious accusations will be revealed and ruin her reputation and so on. And then at that point, they're like, uh, file it in the system and an investigator will contact you. Okay. They ask me to file it in the system and say an investigator will contact me. Yes. Then what happens? Uh, so then the, um, I become convinced it's, uh, that mm. David's now like, a, convinced David's a real criminal. That David is a real criminal. Why? Uh, cause all of these ha this habit of looking for dirt. So I think he's done this before. And this is what, uh, talking with other, like I have a lawyer friend in San Francisco and so on and, uh, objective legal professionals that I was able to, like in my network that I was able to talk to about this, their immediate reaction is like, oh, He's done corruption before, right? So like he's a real criminal. All his attitude and behavior and digging for dirt, specifically and digging for dirt habit looks like corruption. Well, it looks it looks like the habit of corruption and criminality. Like criminality habit and corruption affiliation. Yes. So I'm no longer, I'm no longer, so when it first, when it first, when this whole thing exploded, I, I still gave David the benefit of the doubt. I'm no maybe. longer giving David yeah. the benefit of the doubt. Yes. And, and then this attempt to destroy me. He, he also gets his attorney to send me uh, the same threats at the same, at around the same time. There just was too many attempts to destroy me. Yeah, and here's a letter from his attorney, Eric Ehrenkrona, a partner of Advocat Buddha. Advocat Advocat Buddha. That might just mean Advocat. Well, come here, come here, read it. Some Zen attitude. Max. 
M-A-Q-S. Okay, Max, what do you say? Statement regarding to your uh, action... This one's dated. Okay, you're gonna go... To, I prefer it first. Okay. Statement regarding to your action relating to solar fire concentration oil, the company. On behalf of God holding a bigotti, a company wholly owned by David Brohall. This is the this is the company that owns the actual shares. Okay, which shares? David shares. Okay. We call it David shares, but it's actually Gote Holding Gote. that owns the shares. I may hereby state the following in relation to Gote's shareholding in the company and your action carried out within the scope of the company in the light of the applicable shareholder agreement dated one year later. Right? Gote has provided me with documentation and input implying that several actions carried out by you have caused damage to the company and Gote. The intention of this statement is to formally inform you of such action. I urge you to seize any possible ongoing action that may cause further damage and inform I urge you to seize and inform you of Gote's intention to further evaluate potential legal claims for damages. The above mentioned actions that have caused damage to the company and Gote, as well as potentially constituting breach of this are mainly the following. Gote, as of the day of the you have facilitated the appointment of yourself as CEO of the company without prior written consent from Gote. This is a clear breach of shareholder agreement. Is it? Gote has further confirmed that you have acted as CEO of the company for some time without having been registered in the Finnish trade register and without necessarily underlying corporate resolutions. The unauthorized action carried out by you in the role as CEO and self-proclaimed signatory of the company are currently further scrutinized by Gode. In the view of Gode, you are personally liable to reimburse all claims for damage that may reasonably be put forth by both Gode and company. In this regard, the practical handling of any claims currently being discussed between Gode and company included in the unauthorized measure are the directed issues of share related to instruments, convertible loans, that have been carried out by you as well as the taking of additional laws without informing the board and all shareholders. You never did that, right? Yeah, everybody's informed of everything. Rules are signed a bunch of these. It has further come to the attention mm. of Gote that you have disclosed confidential board correspondence with external parties as well as all shareholders. Gote has also been informed that you have been in contact with supplier and customer of the company and supplied such parties with confidential or trade secret nature. These international disclosures have been detrimental to the company and it's clearly an action that legally entitles the applicable parties to claim liquidated damage in accordance with the FHA. In addition, the company in Gode had substantial put time and financial resources into limiting the damage caused and to ensure that the risk of further damaging action is minimized. Such resources include costs for legal representatives. Oh, wow. This is how they did it. Okay. They use this claim to justify paying for that much people to destroy you. Okay. Mm. In light of the above, it is clear to go to the several of the action carried out by your entitled go to and company claim for damage. So the damage will increase the longer your action prevail and will at the other end increase your liability to remain such damage. Got it has the clear intention to further surrender his action covered with statement. Is your advice to take further legal in order to secure this right? Any further damaging action carried out by you will further means because to legally process this matter and also ensure the goal is not a way of force and way of reaching a potential closure of this process will strongly urge you to proceed in a discussion regarding a clean break agreement that may be feasible and reasonable option for all involved parties, including company God and yourself. Wow. And like this is also completely illegal because he's like they're it's a separate party putting pressure on me. Like yeah, yeah. there's all sorts of laws being broken here. Also, if you're gonna make a claim, at least in Finnish law, you have to cite the laws. Sure. Uh, anyway. anyway, but like this is not this is like now we need to. Uh, I'm getting tired, so um, so um, I'm no longer giving David the benefit of the doubt. There just was too many attempts to destroy me. So what do you do now? Yeah. So I went in person to the police. Yeah. Because like now I'm like now I'm like because uh, if if David had just left, maybe if David, if David wasn't a criminal mm -hmm. and he just left. No, I, I, I get yeah. it. I ask you, in between, you already gone to the police before May 12th. Yeah. Before you signed the clean break. Yeah. The, you already go to the police about the blackmail and an investigator say... And yeah, the money laundering. Between, before May 12th. Yeah. You went to the police for blackmail issue and money laundering? Yeah, yeah because it's all about... Because I've already said that the... Because the, they asked me what the motivation for David is. Oh, yeah. And that's when I remember, like, I fucking told him he was involved in, black, in money laundering. Yeah, I explained them this blackmail issue. Then I became convinced that David is a real criminal. So, be, so you went to the police. Yeah. But then you realized David is a real criminal. No, 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 before. I went to the police because I realized... Because I, I changed my... my changed... I know, like... Okay. It was beyond doubt that David was a real criminal. 
Okay. So I went to police. Okay. Because I don't want to be, uh, you know, real criminals should be, should be uh, uh, investigated so by police. L- listen. I rejected that offer because their threat have no legal basis to me. Then I became convinced that David is a real criminal. All his attitude and behavior and digging for dirt habits looks like criminality habits and corruption affiliation. I'm no longer giving David the benefit of the doubt. There just was too many attempts to destroy me. And the blackmail is just ne- a crime. Negotiation yeah. goes all the way after. Mm. Negotiation goes all the way to May 12th when we sign a final clean break. But in between, I've already gone to the police. Yes. Is that true in the because yeah. like i don't care about the dates what i care is about yes. chain of events yes so before like, the before signing the clean break yeah you went to the police in person and then i, I sent a letter directly to the the national bureau of investigations okay i also sent a letter to the national bureau of investigation uh, where and um, where then I get an email back, to which I get an email back. Yeah. Well, well, my letter is basically, I view myself as being black, like there's a business conflict or whatever. I view myself as being blackmailed mm-hmm. uh, for the purposes of covering up money laundering. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. So, so I, uh, I okay, explain. So, yeah. so uh, let me write that. Yeah. Down. So basically. From my point of view, all of that and the blackmail included is to cover up me discovering. Well, reporting the money laundering. uh, And the blackmail included. All of that and the blackmail included is to cover money laundering. Yes. So I tell the police. Laundering. Yeah, that uh, that uh, that there's this business crisis, uh, that uh, I'm 100% convinced I've been blackmailed to cover up money laundering, and uh, but there seems to be a, a resolution, yeah. at least about the crimes towards me. Uh, but before signing any deal, I say to the police yeah. before signing any deal. Seems to be a resolution for the crime against me yeah but before signing signing any deal i want to put money i want to i would rather the police evaluate the money laundering right because the blackmail yeah i would rather the police evaluating money laundering my specific words is i i rather not be the judge of that i rather not be the judge of that okay so like, I mean, how do you get more good faith than that with police i'm not like this is this is not a text sure yeah, about yeah, yeah, what sure. you what you feel sure this is a text to make sure we yes. have all the events yes so i sent this letter i can show it to you if you okay. want i also sent a letter to the national bureau of investigation basically from my point of view all of that and the black man included is to cover money laundering but there seems to be a resolution for the crime against me but before signing any deal, I would rather the police evaluating money laundering. I'd rather not be the judge of that. Yeah, okay. because if the police are like, okay, this is serious, because they might have stuff on file on these guys, they're already suspected, who knows? Yeah. So this is, uh, so then the police just say, get an attorney. The police, no, uh, so you, they, they, they answer that letter, right? They answer that letter, just get an attorney, like, get an attorney, an attorney can help you. They answer the letter by saying to me that I shall get an attorney. Okay. That yeah, I can get an attorney and an attorney can help what I, with my business, well, you know, evaluate the options or whatever. So really banal response. With no wait, follow-up you question. You send a letter, okay. I send them an email, they email me this back, just get, an, get a lawyer. They answer, the, they answer the letter by saying to me that I shall get an attorney. Well, not shall they just say i guess well i guess they say yeah go get an attorney so anyways this is this is this is i'm like okay the police don't want to you know i've been good faith with the police please don't want to talk to me mm-hmm. about it so then uh, i uh, like i named david brohal and the uh, christian guy uh, so i named david and christian to who not to the police to the police 
and uh, suspect, suspecting money giving laundering, giving them all proofs. Well, I didn't attach anything. I just I asked them. It, I I said I would rather the they evaluate the evidence. And I named David and Christian to the police and asked them to investigate. Well, to evaluate. To evaluate. Like be the judge of money launderers rather than me. Like why is it my if job? This is money laundering. Yes. Okay. Because if it is money laundering, then no deal should be signed. Sure, sure, sure. Right? Yeah. Then, uh, uh, so then, okay, police in Tampere tell me to go away. Mm -hmm. The fucking the National Bureau of Police, which on their website says they deal with money laundering and professional you, you are in person at the at the office. Uh, the Tampere office is local police. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But the if you look up money laundering, sure, the, sure, sure. But it's like the National I, I Bureau that deals with that. You answered a letter by saying to me, "I shall get on to me." So you go again to the police. No, no, I went to the police in person first, then I sent this email. Okay, the, when you went to the police, you, um, you explained the blackmail issue, mm. and you have the evidence in your hand. Yeah, the I, give it to them. I give it to them, they hand it back them. to me. They say, they, they will see if it's a crime, they ask me to file it in the system, and say an investigator will contact you. Yes. You also send a letter to National Bureau of Investigation yeah. for the money laundering. Yeah, and the blackmail. And the blackmail. So... So they answered the letter by saying to me that I shall get an attorney. Yeah. And for me... Uh, so then you named David and Christian. So then you went again to the police? No, no, I didn't go to the station again. No, okay, no, so why, I, I named so why David. So why did I wrote, I named David and Christian? In David. the letter, in the letter to the oh, National Bureau. Okay. In the letter. So okay. they have the names of the suspects. Of who okay, I okay. suspect. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. They answered the letter by saying to me that I shall get an attorney. Yeah. Okay. Then what happened? The, again, focus on events. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is this is so. This is then the uh, the then uh, the negotiation. They keep they try to put more pressure on me to sign their severance package. So what what they're offered to me, which become like well, first it's called the severance package deal two. Well, really to uh, the. Negotiation goes all the way to May 12 when we sign a final clean break. It's too high now. So, the, what they like, this police thing happens before you sign the clean break. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so. All this, this police. They answered the letter by saying to me, I shall get an attorney. Okay. So, I can't afford an attorney at this stage. I, like, I literally have no money. Like, I literally, like, not, now I have, like, like, literally have no money. Okay. Uh, and I don't see why I would pay to do the police's job. I have no money. I have no money. I don't see. Hello. Hello. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Money. I don't see why I shall pay an attorney to do the police job. Okay. Uh, so then I'm like, okay, well, I'll negotiate and then uh, talk to an attorney later. Yeah. And then if an attorney says whatever, who cares? Well, my liability is protected. Sure. I've told the police yeah. in person, sure. in email, right? Sure. So now I don't mind. Like, now that the police don't yeah, do anything, you, you, you don't mind. Yeah, okay. I don't mind that. Whatever. Okay. The so police are lazy, sacks of shit. So whatever. I have no money. Business. I don't see why I shall pay an attorney to do the police job. So I let go. Yeah. Negotiation goes all the way to May 12th when we sign a final clean break. Is there any other thing in between? Yeah. So the clean break is one of two deals. So the the actual agreement. That we find, we come to an agreement in email again. This clean break is one of two deals. That's why it's called deal two. So, so the because it, it comes down like I make they make uh, uh, the negotiation comes down to I would accept nego terms v one mm -hmm. and all the benefits of the deal two the severance package that they offered, mm -hmm. right? Uh, which 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 got modified a bit, but okay. more or less the same thing. So and the main thing is the main thing is six six seven months of salary. Uh, okay, this clean break is one of two deals. Uh, just tell me tell me what what is agreed on on this deal. Well, it's agreed on email, and Urs literally states. So Ava, because Ava, they they talk with they. I say, well, I'll take, uh, I'll take both deals. They go terms v one, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and well, like where David leaves and everything, all that, mm -hmm. right? And the second deal. Which the main thing is I get six months of salary. Okay. So this clean break is one of two deals. The V1 where 
where David lives and all of that. Yeah. And my six months salary. In deal two. And the other thing in deal two yeah, is, uh, yeah, the, the big thing that, that gets added to this deal two is the book rights for all of the material that's been and created. The book rights for all the material that has been created. Okay. Yeah. So, so this is this. Uh, so these offers are made in like point form, mm -hmm. uh, and they go and negotiate with uh, with David. It takes like them days to get David to finally agree to leave because he thought he'd like won and was like he was having the time of his life controlling the board more or less. Mm -hmm. So eventually, he finally agrees to leave. Uh, they offer me these two deals, right? Uh, uh, I agree, and then David. <laughs> literally says i mean it was literally said and he's like the chair of the board at this point he literally says in an email we have a final agreement no room to negotiate around it mm -hmm. you agreed david agreed we all agreed this is what you wanted mm -hmm. right like <laughs> hallelujah okay all everything is solved right then like nego terms one david leaves gives up his shares everything is solved david leaves gives up his shares there's the uh, and then the deal two yeah uh, the deal two I get uh, I get uh, seven seven months of salary yeah I get the book rights yeah and I get uh, and there's this healing process okay right yeah so everything, everything is solved everything is solved at this point excellent we yeah. are on May twelfth May twelfth everything is solved we are no no well yeah well May, the, the, on May twelfth no 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 sorry sorry everything is solved uh, like I guess a week before May twelfth at this final we have a final agreement no room to negotiate around it. Okay. Okay. Do you want to see that or saying that? No. Um, okay. You can I trust, trust you. Yeah. And, and to this, I say, I say, uh, I say, um, uh, I say, great. We have an agreement, which would mean a judge would have to decide about any further disagreements, right? Yes. In implementation. Yes. I literally say this. Then David responds to me, uh, to everybody, uh, that he sees there's an agreement too. And to show his commitment to follow the agreement, he resigns. So he just resigns in email. Yeah. So this is like uh, um, May, like first week of May about. Yeah. Right. So now David's resigned. This is like now the huge stress. He's already resigned. That was like, that was my source of stress was David still in the company. Yeah. Right. So huge stress. He's resigned, given up share rights and everything. Yeah. Uh, final agreement. I'm like now, because now there's all this, re there's the previous reneging. So now I'm like. Agreement means a judge gets to decide, right? And then their board members are supposed to be impartial, uh -huh. right? That's the only way to resolve. Yeah. So this is so this now then. So with the final agreement, no room to negotiate around it. It should have been a final agreement with no room to negotiate uh, around. Agreement, no room to negotiate. Uh, but you guys, you guys signed it. I know you haven't signed it. We haven't signed it yet, but this is this is an agreement. And they make an offer, an email. I accept their offer. They say it, and it's clear that that's, that's clearly a, a, a final agreement. And later they present uh, they present legal analysis that verbal agreements are binding. Okay, I have no money. I don't see why I shall pay an attorney to do the police job. So I let go. Negotiation goes all the way to May twelfth when we sign a final clean break. This clean break is one of two deals: the D one where David where David leaves and all of that and my six month salary in deal two and the book rights of all the material that's been created. Everything is sold. Final agreement, no room to negotiate. Yeah, then then I just like relax. Finally, stress is gone. I then relax. I finally relax. Uh, then, uh, then Urs does some sort of negotiating with because they David wants his like a guarantee and warranties. That's part of the deal. David, uh, oh, so people continue, I finally relax, but people negotiate again? Well, they're the, 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 um, we, like part of the Menego terms we won is David would get guarantees and warranties for the offer, which is we sell his shares in the A round. Sure. I like, to, to common sense, you might want, you want a paper about this. Okay, cool. And, and guarantees that we don't dilute him and whatever, and okay, the, or that like we actually do an A round. Okay, but that, this is details. Yeah, these are details. Okay, okay. And I'm not on the board, so yeah. it's not me. To, this is, yeah, this yeah, is yeah. a commitment from the company. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, 
So uh, you finally relax, but then what happens? Yeah. So I don't care. I don't care how what they work out with mm. with David. Also, it can be renegotiated later because mm. then okay. we right we can come. We, anyways, the point is I'm relaxing, and then the, the words comes back to me like a couple of days later, saying that there's two ways forward. Comes back to me saying there is two ways forward. Either I personally guarantee David like three hundred thousand euros. Either I personally. I think it was like 270 yeah, something anyways. See David David 300,000 euros. 300k euros, okay? Uh or, or or there's or there's he has this complicated story about an interim buyer. Huh? He has the or there's this complicated process about an interim buyer and a final buyer. There is a complicated process with an internal buyer? Inter interim. Like interim buyer. And a final buyer. And a final buyer. And I'm like, that is not what Nego term the terms V1 says. Yeah. Right? So this is not what it says. Like the shares go to the company. We sell them in the A round. Yeah. Right? So I just repeat what the what the what the what it says. Yeah. And if David wants a guarantee that we actually that we do that and don't dilute him and like whatever. I mean yeah, there's no we, you're not in this company anymore. Well I'm still shareholder. Oh, it's true. Yeah. Yeah. Right. We shareholders could dilute him. Yeah, true. Uh so I just explain the deal again. Mm -hmm. Uh and then I say like if there if, if David Which if I expl explain the deal again, okay. Uh, so I and then I say what what's there to do is the company just make the documents get a lawyer to make the documents Right that guarantees we sell the shares and whatever reasonable reason a reasonable Interpretation of the thing and if David doesn't like it. He can go to court. Yeah, that's what's to do. Yeah, right uh, Instead of doing that mm -hmm. right uh, Urs then says well there was no the, for clarity for the purposes of clarity uh, uh, a final agreement before an agreement is signed it only like informs the drafting of the fi of the final agreement. I don't know if you want that. It's so crazy, but to explain the deal again, or then say, or then say, uh, 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 there's no deal because it's not signed. No there's no deal. There's no deal. Yeah. Okay. And Did then we... and also, it's totally obvious that this whole interim buyer thing is so that Urs can get can can control David's five percent stake, right? Because David's five percent stake obviously changes the 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 control of the company, right? If it's now neutral, mm -hmm. right? So this whole it's obvious that the 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 David and Urs got together and were like, ha ha ha, he he he, we can get Urs the shares. To which I explain the deal again. Urs then say there's no deal. Okay. Yeah. Now if they if they had if they had made this this offer. Before saying there's a final agreement, mm -hmm. yeah. probably I would have accepted. Sure. I okay. want the situation. So it's just as purely like this, this whole like agree. So I don't go to police or whatever mm -hmm. and then negotiate stuff after. Okay. It's just like impossible to deal with. Okay. So now there's no deal. Okay. So okay. now then, then everything re explodes, right? Then everything a, yeah, then re explode. Yes. Then, uh, uh, Ava, Ava's confused. Obviously yes. she thought it was yes. solved too. Uh, and then we, uh, 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 and then uh, Ava and Urs, yeah. it was resolved to, yeah, and then Urs gets, uh, Urs gets, uh, gets. attorney opinion, okay. not, not that there was no deal, okay. but that the deal was bad, that the deal was bad, okay. which I'm like, well, then don't agree to it. Yeah. Right. Uh, but they use this opinion. Uh, attorneys say the deal is bad. They also don't have no cracking clue how to negotiate because we can sell. We have to sell these shares in the A round. Right. Which we can do any time. So we have a huge negotiation leverage to go back to David any time and be like, look, we'll give you 50K yeah. or 40K yeah. or 60K, which he eventually gets from yeah, David. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. So. Every, so everything will explode. Yeah. Eva is confused because she thought it was a result too. Then also get that on your opinion that, that the deal was bad. Okay. But then what happened then? Uh, so then, then uh, uh, I'm like, well, I'll agree. I'll negotiate the deal too, because the, the idea was the deal too represented compensation for the company not doing nego terms one the first time, mm -hmm. right? 
so that was hugely damaging. Board members and board members shouldn't be deciding deals or not deals or whatever uh, to benefit David and hurt me, right? Mm-hmm. And benefit Urs, right? So the deal two was to what represents damages from the company because after the chaos, after David agreed, the ta- the the further chaos is totally the responsibility of Urs. Yeah, sure. Uh, right. So I'm like, well, I'll negotiate the deal two without David. Right. David says he doesn't want uh, David saying the agreement to be uh, uh, nego terms v one is not uh, valid. Uh-huh. So I'll negotiate deal two without David, and that resolves. Uh, that should resolve things with the company, right? Uh, and then uh, should resolve things for the company, and then. Yeah, and if David then if they, David doesn't want the the nego terms v one that drops claims against him. Whatever, I'll keep my claims. Uh, doesn't want what? Doesn't want nego terms v one. Nego terms. Uh, nego terms v one. I will what? Well, uh, whatever. He doesn't want to drop the claims. I'll publish his letter. I'll I'll file the blackmail. I will keep my claim. Right. Yeah. Da- yeah, David, no, okay, yeah. Okay, whatever. Because okay. like this, this this deal is good for them. Like, yes. Yes. Yeah. Sure. Sure. So. Uh, so then, then they say, then they say uh, uh, they're negotiating an adequate replacement. They say they are negotiating an adequate replacement of who? Of the Nego Terms V1. Of Nego Term V1. Okay. So then I'm like, okay, well, I'll, uh, so I, I give them a time limit. I'm like, okay, if you nego, I'm like, whatever. If there's, a, if there's an adequate replacement, I'll sign that. Like, by definition, an adequate replacement is, uh, I think the key word is adequate. So I wouldn't have a problem with it, right? Right. So I give them two weeks. I'm like, oh, look, if you negotiate an adequate replacement in two weeks, I'll, I'll honor the deal. Okay. And uh, in the meantime, I want this, si- like, in the meantime, deal two gets signed. Okay, deal two gets signed. Yeah. In the meantime, in the meantime, deal two gets signed on May 12th? May 12th, yeah. May 12th. It's called? Clean Break. It is called Clean Break. Thank you. Yes. Okay. But the situation is not resolved with David. The situation is not resolved with David, but the situation is resolved with you and the company. No. Because the deal doesn't resolve the situation with the company because the deal, I make it clear, I'm not negotiating anything if my privacy has been invaded. Ava multiple times, right, promises that my privacy private privacy is not being invaded. It's clean break. Okay, let me then. So this is the uh, problem. Let, let, yeah. me, let me just give them two weeks. In the meantime, deal still get signed on May twelfth. It is called clean break. It is called clean break, which should. If it was good faith, it which, would resolve everything. If it was done which in good faith, would resolve everything in good faith. If it was good faith. If it was good faith and if my privacy was not violated. So there's two, there's two things. There's two problems. Because the, the privacy, which I then put in the agreement, mm-hmm. the final draft of the agreement, yeah, sure. reaccess to my email. Yeah. Because I want to see. Yeah. Like I almost, I almost sure. can't believe Ava telling me no one's looked at my email. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? And, and because and the, the reason they have to lie about it is because if they if they if well, well first it was lied to Ava, mm-hmm. so oh, Ava didn't okay. know. Fine. But the reason Urs has to lie to Ava is because if they admit this, like their whole thing that they can be board members and I can't is that yeah. I'm a criminal and they're not. Yeah. Right. So if they admit they did a, a boo boo, yeah. their whole logic doesn't work because I stay uh, instead of this instead mm-hmm. of giving me six months of salary and giving me the copyright and all of this, uh, 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 if you just put me back on the board, you don't owe me nothing. Yeah. Right? Because then I have my reputation back. Yeah. I, can su- I can supervise my wealth. Yeah. Right? Uh, that's much more important to me than the salary. Yeah. Right? And, 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 it, and it was a huge part of signing that agreement, Ava's promise, mm-hmm. seven, multiple times that no one's invading my privacy. Mm-hmm. And, right, and the lawyer also says no one's invading okay. my privacy. So, right? So th- this is, so th- so I, but I want to be sure. Trust but verify. So I put, so I put the access to the email back in the e- in the thing. The other problem is I make it clear that in this version, uh, like uh, in this version of the agreement, like if I'm not returned to the board, then 
the, the agreement does not affect any shareholder rights. If, uh, which will resolve everything in good faith if it was good faith and if my privacy was not violated. And okay. if I'm returned to the board? No, no. And if, if uh, and uh, the, other, like the other problem the agree agreement doesn't solve yeah. is that I still own 51% of the company. Okay, yeah. And I, I put it specifically that, 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 I'm, that this agreement, I'm not giving up any shareholder rights. Okay. Because for me... And if I, uh, so, which will resolve everything in good faith if it was good faith and if my privacy was not violated. And if I'm not giving anyone... No, just to say the other second problem... Well, it does, it, the second problem is that the, the, the agreement doesn't change the share rights. It's not a problem. Well, it's not a problem for me. It's a problem for them. Like the problem for them. Yeah. Okay. For me, it's great to sign this and then own 51% of the company. Sure. Sure. Yeah. So, but there, they have also the problem that I own 51% of the company. Yeah. And this is still clear to me of the company. Yeah. So my, I'm now even more confused. I'm like, they must have some crazy, like there must be something of the law. I don't understand. Yeah. Cause nobody would, I made this deal that if you didn't, if the shares did not transfer correctly, right? Mm -hmm. No one in the right mind would sign this deal. Yeah. Right. Because they, in this deal, they drop all claims. Yeah. Right. So about known information, obviously yeah. they know about the shareholders agreement. Right. Yeah. And they know about whatever else I may have promised them at any time or yeah, whatever. Yeah, sure. Right. So if I still own 51% of the company, now they're just giving up their claim to any shares yeah. by signing this agreement. Yes. Right. So I'm like, no one, no rational person would sign this agreement, especially since me returning to the board that would resolve everything doesn't hurt anybody. But, right. but you not return to the board with that. Yeah, exactly. This is, this is, if you, if the, the way it works is if you return me to the board, everything gets solved. You don't even owe me, you don't owe me, owe me anything. But right? they don't want you to return to the board. Yeah. So they own you so salary. Then, so if you don't, if I'm not returning to the board, then okay, you got to give me a lot of stuff. Yeah. Right. So, uh, um, and I would never, and I make it clear, I will, I, that the, the agreement does not affect any shareholder rights. Right. <laughs> Which Urs, which Urs confirms in writing that the agreement does not affect any shareholder rights. So I'm like, because I'm not, because I tell Ava, like, you could, uh, uh, you know, there's not this, this, this type of... It doesn't affect any shareholder's rights. Yeah. So if I own shares, I still own them, right? That's like the most fundamental okay. shareholder right is the ownership. This agreement doesn't affect any shareholder's rights. Okay. And this was my way of checking if... Mm -hmm. Like I thought my, this negotiation was checking that they solved these issues legally. Because mm -hmm. if they didn't, they, they'd be fucked, right? Now they've given me the, the copyright, uh, mm -hmm. six months of salary, which I can then finance at legal mm -hmm. attorneys, right? So they're giving me money, they're giving me the copyright. Mm -hmm. uh, they're all, they, also, uh, uh, they also put in the clean break a 60,000 euro minimum breach of anything in the clean break. Mm -hmm. So any breach of the clean break uh, would be a 60,000 euro penalty, mm -hmm. which I said was crazy, can just be like, you know, damages, mm -hmm. like a normal contract. Yeah. Uh, and, crazy. yeah. and I told, I also said that, that between me and the company, it's way easier for the company to breach the contract than me because there's like way more people and you yeah, have to yeah, do, yeah. I can just sit on my ass all day. Which would resolve everything in good faith if it was good faith or policy was not violated. But uh, I have also the problem that I own 51% of the company. This agreement doesn't affect any shoulders, right? Okay. They have the problem, not me. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They have the problem. Yeah. Um, um, this deal too is signed on May twelfth. Okay. Can also, I they, they also have the other problem that they didn't sign it as they only signed it as the company and not as individuals. Okay. Which I also then explain that then if ever the board changes, the con the agreement could be renegotiated because I don't know they've accepted my email. That just gets rid of the agreement. Mm -hmm. uh, that, I mean, that, what happened in, in in Finland? Finland is a good faith jurisdiction. Okay. So if you so what good faith means is if I hide from you circumstances that would have affected your signing the agreement, mm -hmm. 
what happens is you get all the benefits and I get none of the benefits. Okay. So um. in the meantime, Yields 2 gets signed on May 12th. It's called Clean Break. Yeah. Which would resolve everything in good faith. If it was good faith and if my privacy was not violated, but I also have the problem that I own 51% of the company, this agreement doesn't affect any shareholders' rights. Okay, so you signed, they signed. Yeah. Where's the problem? Well, then I open my email. So then the crisis, but the then, crisis. But then I open my email. To see, filled with Switzerland, the log filled with Switzerland. It's filled with Swiss logs. Yeah, Swiss, and then the, 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 they go, they go way past the deadline negotiating with David. Also, they go past the deadline of two weeks. I did to negotiate with David. And then they, then they finally sign an agreement with David. Then they sign an agreement with David. That I'm not even asked to sign. I am not even asked to sign. And, a to and in no way an adequate replacement, Urs gets the in shares. No way an adequate replacement. As Urs gets the shares. As and Urs gets the shares. The agreement was not with David. And the agreement is with? It, but with Gote. Is with Gote. And not David. The, so the parties aren't even the same. Gote, not David, parties are not even the same. And none of the terms, none of the other terms are the same either. And no terms are the same either. Now David then, David then, they signed this and then David puts an email that he's dropping all claims against me anyways. An email saying he is dropping all claims against me because uh, that was a condition uh, that was one of Ava's conditions okay so which was one of Ava's condition uh, and then I say David and Ava are close or no no Ava doesn't want uh, Ava insists that David drops claims against me yeah, yeah but okay. and then she doesn't like that's what she cares about yeah. Right. And then but if she, David she still cares about you. Ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, like she's trying to resolve things. Sure, sure. Like she negotiated the final agreement. No room to negotiate around it. Sure, sure, sure. Right? Okay. David then puts an email saying he's dropping all claims against me, which was one of Eva's conditions. Okay. Uh, then the uh, um, then there's this big uh, uh, also d little note. Uh, they during this time they uh, uh, the comp they cancel the the rent contract with the landlords in this period the company also cancelled the rent with the landlord and and let the landlords believe let that would also mean i was going believe that i was going uh, and then, so this also created this created this uh, an adjacent cri la crisis created living conditions crisis adjacent crisis of living condition for me and uh, with the landlords who then sue me with the land lord landlord sue me because they rented my my space to somebody else. Without can without me signing, anyways, it's a, it's details, but just very chaotic times for me, and then uh, so so then David's gone, uh, but I haven't dropped my claims against him, and I said I made it very clear that if you find a if I, my dro claims aren't dropped, I'll pursue them. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't I? Right, like David wants David wanted to to. Like the whole point of renegotiating was just that eight Urs gets David shares. Mm -hmm. uh, had they come back to me and been like, uh, like their logic was that Urs paying David 60,000 euros was like a better deal than Nego terms we won. Now, had they come back to me and said, look, well, we're going to have the same deal, but Urs is going to loan 60,000 euros to the company. Mm -hmm. And then the company is going to buy David out with 60,000. 
Okay, no problem. My, but uh, after, and it, had they said before the final agreement that David's gonna, that Urz is gonna buy David's shares, I probably would have agreed to that because I want the situation over. So that's, mm -hmm. that's when you negotiate before the agreement. But after the agreement, no way I'm accepting that they then renegotiate everything. It's not even the same deal, it's not even clear. Like, mm -hmm. the, anyways, and then, um, uh, um, then Urz gets the shares. Mm -hmm. So David puts an email that, you know, that they've signed and then he drops all the claims against me as well. Mm -hmm. oh, I just answer that, okay, great, but I haven't dropped any claims against you, mm -hmm. right? Uh, so that, that should be clear. I'm not even party to this agreement. They try to argue that it's an adequate replacement and therefore I'm like bound to it. But I'm like, how can, I, how can an agreement I'm not a party to replace, adequately replace an agreement I was a party to, mm -hmm. right? Because I haven't signed anything. So I haven't signed anything and they just okay so they tried to argue like it was somehow an adequate replacement anyways but it's behind but i passed it like you don't have to write that but it's past the deadline i haven't like and i'm not even in their deal so how can it how can it like it's just a lot this is like basic common sense insanity at this point and then uh uh so then i had the salary uh, and I'm trying, and if things were repaired with the company, because there's this whole healing process, uh, if things were repaired with the company, like I, th I still think these people could be my friends still. At that moment. Uh, even at that moment. That's why, that's why I negotiated the healing process. Yes. Which was like this six months thing. Like I have mm -hmm. a six month salary and we have this like six months healing process. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and even with the, like, so the contract is insanely in my favor, mm -hmm. yeah. right? But I don't have to use that, right? Uh, um, so I could let like, uh, and, and, and I'm also like, okay, they must have some sort of like, they must have gotten the auditor to approve the shareholder, the share ownership change. And then that would be KPMG's liability. And if they somehow managed to do that, like, okay, I can let it go. I don't want to go up. I don't like, okay, the auditor said so. Right. So this is like, otherwise it seems irrational to, to, to sign the agreement. But it's already signed at that moment. Yeah, yeah, but 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 for me, for me, uh, I still don't know how the shares changed hands. Okay, yeah, yeah, right. So for me, I still own six hundred thousand shares. So at that moment, the oh my god, um, I'm tired. Yeah, well, well, to, uh, just to finish this phase. So then, I believe if the if uh, the healing process works, and uh, and. Uh, and the corp and the company bookkeeping is correct that like I, I i understand at some point how the how the shares changed hands in a legal way bookkeeping is correct that i understand the share change everything is good everything could be good still everything could be good if we disregard the, the privacy thing. Well, the private, like, and then, well, I discover that right away. I tell that to Ava. Ava says there's going to be an investigation. So that could be, so, like, so that could be done in good faith. So Ava's like, this is serious. I, like, I, t I show her the logs. Mm -hmm. She says this is serious. Uh, there'll be an investigation. So if there was an investigation, you know, maybe they accept some responsibility and I return to the board, mm -hmm. right? So had they been like, okay, yeah, we did look in your emails and that's a problem. Uh, let's solve that. Like that could have been maybe, okay. I would have been like, well, maybe I'm not the criminal. Like maybe, you know, I can be on the board too. So I thought maybe that, that the emails could be resolved that way. Mm -hmm. But anyways, it re-explodes because then they start to start, start threatening me again. Uh, because I commit to giving the, the, the software because they fired me without asking for a copy of the software. And then got me rid of the board, still not asking me for the software. So I'm not, not employed by the company. I'm not even on the board. It's your problem. You're liable for the company. Your board members, you're liable for the company's assets. Mm -hmm. Not some random shareholder, mm -hmm. right? Uh, um, and I'm like, go tell a judge that, go complain to a judge that you fired somebody uh, who told you, who tried to call, anyway, because I called the board meeting on the property, intellectual property, David's, and they refused to have that board meeting. Mm -hmm. And in the intellectual property agenda point, I would have described all the intellectual property I take care of. Anyways, but they threaten you again. They threaten me again, because uh, uh, David uh, Urs Urs insists because uh, there's a deadline of two months, but I propose a good faith 
a, a good faith uh, conversation. Because uh, for me, the, the business way to stabilize the situation is to have to start to build up the cooperation, which we, with what I call win, win extras. Like they're paying me, so why not? Why not? I work on company business, mm -hmm. right? So I offer, and obviously the most important thing I do is the software, which caused a huge problem mm -hmm. uh, that it that it wasn't available for the company. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I suggest, and they want the software because they know it now. Now they've realized it's valuable after firing me. They didn't know what it was or what, etc. They didn't, weren't interested. They've discovered what it was value. What uh, they I, I, like, but when I before firing me, Ava or say that I'm easy to replace. During all this crisis, Ava tells me it's difficult for three people to replace me, and I'm like, oh, wait, wait, is that a joke? <laughs> They're like, oh, it's so difficult, three people to replace me. And I'm like, is that a joke? Like satire? Is that a joke? She's like, no, no, like you. Yeah do so much. I'm like, well, why not hire me back? So then I'm like, so they're like in these conditions where that's difficult for three people to replace me because I took care of all the software issue, all the engineering interns, all of the engineering problems, all the organization, all of the legal problems, uh, the contract negotiation. It turns out I did a lot of things that they're having problems with. So for me, the way this, even in this, in this, like the contract hasn't, the clean break hasn't really resolved anything. But if we built back the collaboration in good faith, I don't have to use any of my immense legal leverage, mm -hmm. right? So I suggest we then negotiate win-win uh, extras that don't involve money because they're already paying me, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and I suggest uh, immediately after signing, I send an email, let's have a, a, a verbal discussion about the software, which is not in the agreement. I'm not, I only have like two months to send it. I agree to just write a general summary. And I make it clear to Ava, I'm not going to co comment any code and I'm not going to describe anything in detail. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not going to do work. The money's compensation for damages. Mm -hmm. yeah. so I'm not going to do any work, mm -hmm. but whatever. A little summary of what the software even does, which, which was supposed to motivate them to work something else so I continue to work on it, mm -hmm. right? Uh, so I suggest a, a verbal discussion. Maybe you don't have to write anything of this down because it's not really legal, but just to see how this then the the conflict just keeps going. I suggest a verbal discussion. So two days later, we have this verb like to, on the software, uh, and I say the purpose is to I'll just I'll answer all your, any of your questions verbally. I don't I have no problem talking, uh, and then the the, whole, the point is it like in exchange that we discuss win win extras so that I can keep working on the software because mm -hmm. I know the the value of comments in code and like even making it work mm -hmm. right. Because uh, this is like pages and pages and pages of mathematical code. Like a lot of it, I don't even remember. Like I'd have to like redo the equations. So the the uh, and in this meeting, Urs just like grills me on the state of the software, and discovers that it's like unusable. Like the only person that can use it is me. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, um, Again, because the software is only usable by me. Yeah, I'm the only I'm the only person that ever used it, mm -hmm. and then uh, um, um, and it's like really like some parts like to do a whole numerical simulation of the technology and then make uh, CNC parts. Mm -hmm. It's like a, sh a lot of code, a lot of like not just code, but like logic. Yeah, super, mm. super, super embedded, 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 yeah, embedded, yeah. embedded logic. Yeah, you made, you made, yeah. a, you made disgusting code. Only you can read. No, uh, it. it uh, well, there's that. Yeah. There's that, but it's also the the logic. Uh, like, there's all these vectors. Like, how do you like? You make the simulation of the machine. There's like points. Like every mirror is represented by well, actually, arbitrary amount of points. Mm -hmm. Like, lengthwise and widthwise, the mirrors are curved. So there's an algorithm that curves all these points. There's an mm -hmm. algorithm that calculates all the reflections, intersections mm -hmm. with where it's going. So like uh, I can do like a, a arbitrary amount of ray simulation of the optics. So it's just a shit ton of points and, and vectors mm -hmm. to keep track of. Uh, and then you take all that information and you make, I can make like uh, actual CAD mm -hmm. that can then be lasered. Mm -hmm. Right. And then so to turn like so the simulation is difficult enough. And then it's also uh, linked up with thermal simulation mm -hmm. of how much it actually. Anyways, so, so they threaten you again because the software they want is only usable by you. It's only usable by me. And so then then Urs says, uh, so I'm like, uh, but, you know, I'll do all uh, like so what's needed to be done is like uh, 
put it to a usable state because I haven't used it in a while and I like forget how to even mm -hmm. the, use it because there's all sorts of dependencies and mm -hmm. yeah. right. So I'm like the th things to do is put it in a usable state. Uh, then I comment all the code, right? I clean things up. I comment it, right? So other engineers can work on it. Mm -hmm. I'm like like all, like it cannot be worked on. I'm like mm -hmm. any. Buddy with the skills mm -hmm. would redo it from scratch mm -hmm, yeah. if they don't have my comments yeah. and like a working version. Sure. Right. So I say like that. I say, I, I answer all of the, uh, uh, Urza's uh, things, and I'm like, uh, you know, we can. And I'm like, uh, for instance, I throw out some ideas. Like if I can publish some blogs about like thermal energy in general. Like I like talking about how great thermal energy is. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay, maybe I go to an, do another career, mm -hmm. come to Abalance. Mm -hmm. I still and I build my own consultancy, mm -hmm. coaching, whatever. Like I have an alternative business plan mm -hmm. for myself mm -hmm. of like going into coaching mm -hmm. and then okay, like uh, being able to publish blogs about uh, solar energy, which I want to talk about and promote, to keep promoting anyways, mm -hmm. right? Well, if I can publish on the company website, you know, that they have to be approved by them. Like nothing I can choose, you know, uh, nothing I can like force them to do. But if there's a deal where I can like publish content that they agree is good content to publish, mm -hmm. uh, I'll do the software, mm -hmm. right? So this is what I mean by win-win extra, right? You scratch my back, I scratch yours, mm -hmm. right? And then this would build up a good faith collaboration sure. and solve everything. Sure. Instead of even listening to the good win-win extras to then go discuss with the board, because now there's only, there's four board members, Urs just starts yelling at me, or just, Urs just uh, lists what he wants me to do, Comment the code, make a run, a virtual runtime. What did what did you say? I thought it was. Uh, wait, wait, wait. refuses to. Urs refuses to discuss win-win extras. This is what I call. This is what I call like uh, non-monetary, like non-monetary ways of collaboration. Yeah. Because they're already paying me for seven months, so they may as well. We may as well work out uh, an a, a agreements where I add value I to the company for win-win extras but Urs doesn't want he rejects even discussing them doesn't want to discuss any win win extra what does he want he lists what he wants he lists what he wants the big things are commenting all the code comment comment all the code and uh, create a, a virtual a runtime environment virtual what and create a virtual runtime environment. Runtime? Uh, well, like uh, uh, put ev all the dependencies and everything into a virtual machine. Runtime environment. Okay. Uh, with like uh, preset scenarios that are useful. With preset scenario that are useful. Okay. But which are which are just the three basic steps I said were yeah. needed to develop the code further. Yeah, that, sure. Of the which would be the win-win extra agreement. Sure. Sure. Oh yeah. Uh, I say like that's not part of the contract. No, I say uh, that is not part of the contract. And and it's like in the in the WhatsApp negotiation with Ava, I make it clear I'm not going to comment anything. Yeah. Okay. Right. And then uh, uh, like a general summary, it's called. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then George just yells at me uh, that nothing nothing will be discussed. Yells, yelling at me that nothing will be discussed until the contract is fulfilled until the contract is fulfilled which is okay which would be just tr giving them the software uh in well no i think i already gave the software as an act of good faith yeah uh and then uh, until the contract is fulfilled but it's already fulfilled pardon it's already fulfilled the contract no well no i still had to write the general summary all right so which I would I, do, but it, Urs is arguing I have to do all this other work. No, you just... Yeah, obviously. Until the contract is fulfilled, okay? Um, uh, so there's that. So that... Okay, they don't, like... Uh, and, like, um, what's even more annoying about this experience, they were accusing me of being the tyrant and making decisions without consulting, which, which I never did. I, I never took decisions... Okay, but, yeah. like, Really, so this is this okay. is that this is then the, the nothing is resolvable. So this is this is then maintains the conflict mm -hmm. with the David, da like the, there's no nothing's resolved with David, and now uh, 
now they now they just immediately threatened me again. And they, they, then, then the word writes an email that if you don't know to do all this stuff, it's breach of contract, 60,000 euro minimum breach, blah, 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 blah. So they threaten me again with breach of contract. Which is what I said, that the, the which is what I said, that the 60,000 euro minimum breach for anything. Also, they, it's non technical, like only technical breaches. So mm -hmm. even non damaging breaches, just technical breaches are still 60,000 euro minimum breach. Yep. Uh, and I said that's a highly unstable, right? It is. Uh, I'll stop here. Yeah, yeah. Like it's been uh, three hours and 30 minutes. Yes.